continuation from the previous ayahs and uh, in the previous ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned to Adam alayhi salam that he can live in the paradise with his wife but instructed that do not go close to a certain tree so that's where the previous ayah ends this ayah <coughs> it starts the next portion of the event. So first let's do a simple translation. The ayah starts with Fa'azallahuma. Fa'azallahuma is, and we will look into that word, is something if someone is making you make a mistake. There are two things. You make a mistake or someone is making you to do that. That's the azallah, huma. Huma means both of them. So shaitan, the next word is shaitan. Shaitan caused them to make a mistake. Okay. They did not do with their own intention, but he led them into making a mistake. And we'll look at this word into more details. And where was that anha? From the paradise. So he made them get out from that place. He made them get out of paradise. Mimma kana fihi means in that they were. In that place where they were, he caused them to get out of that place. So when that happened, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقُلْنَا and we said which means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said اِحْبِتُو اِحْبِتُو is an instruction, an order a command saying go down اِحْبِتُو means go down and then down means go out of the paradise okay? and then we'll look into that what does actually, actually this mean go down where to go down and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further said, Ba'adukum li ba'adin aduhun. Some of you will be enemy to the other others, which means you will be enemy to each other. Shaitan and people will, will be and should be enemy to each other. Okay. So that's what this is. This is a warning from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Adam and his wife are leaving the paradise. That shaitan is your enemy and you should be the enemy of shaitan. That's what's the meaning of each other. Okay, and we'll look into that. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after that, Walakum fil ardi and for you on the earth. What is for you on the earth? Two, two things. Mustaqarrun and mataun. Mustaqarun means a place to live. And mataun is some provision. That's all you will get when you are on the earth. You will have a place to live and you will be given some things to live worldly life. Ilahin means for a short duration, for a fixed time. That's all your stay on the earth is going to be. Okay. So with that, let's look at the detailed meanings of these uh, these words in this ayat. So, Ba'adukum li ba'din is between shaitan and human being or between human being and human being? No, this, the most interpretation is between shaitan and human being. Human being. Okay. This brings me another ayah when Allah SWT first proposed. He said, I am I mean, intent to send a Khalifa to the earth. Mm -hmm. So, it is already predestined. Yes. So we was, talk about that earlier. It was it is all pre-planned. Yeah. And these are the steps that are being taken to achieve that plan. Okay? Otherwise he could just have made and sent him on the earth. Right. Yeah. But the test will not be there if Shaitan 
was not inserted in the middle of this thing, then we all come, live quietly, just like animals live, we don't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we go back, there is no test. So this whole sequence was inserted in there. So there is someone who was created for this purpose that he will mislead you. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to test that who can get out of his reach, of the reach of shaitan, and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and comes back to him again. Okay, so this is what uh, the real approach is. Okay, so let's look at the first word. The first word is made of three parts, fa, and the next one is a, zalla, and homa. Fa azalla homa. Three different words. Okay. Fa means so or then. The middle word azalla starts with these three root letters alif, za, and lam. These are the root letters. And the meaning actually, before that, the root letters are za, lam, and lam. These are the root, three root letters. And the meaning of these three letters is to slip or to make a mistake. To slip means like you slip and fall down, for example. Or your tongue slips and you make a mistake. That's the way slip is used in English that you do something unintentionally. Okay, that's what zala la means. Za, lam and la. That you commit a mistake. You're not really doing something purposely. That's what, and you are doing yourself. Is the same word as zalal? Uh, that is uh, zal, zala, for example, or zalal. That is also like, like shaking, earthquake. Okay. But that's a four letter. There's a, one more letter is added in there. So this is three letters, so we call this Babi Fa'ala. Okay. <clears throat> if we go to the next Bab, which is Babi Af'ala, in Babi Af'ala you put a Alif in the beginning and you spell like this. Harakats are Af'ala. Af'ala, so this word will become Alif with the Hamza and Za, Lam and Lam. Okay? Alif of this type of Babi of Allah. So, Az Lala. Okay? When you read, when there are two letters together, this is written and pronounced like this way. A, Zalla. Azalla. Okay. The meaning of this word is that is someone making you slip. Someone is making you make a mistake. You're not doing. But someone is coming to you and say, do this thing. And you make a mistake. Okay, so you're not in this word zala means you are making a mistake yourself. Az-zalla means someone is causing you to make a mistake. Okay? So the meaning is it? To cause. Make a mistake. Or to make you slip. To make slip. Okay? Someone else is doing that. And also, the name of the Bab here of Allah is also the grammar of third person. Which means the meaning of this will be He made you or He caused you make a mistake. He 
He means here Shaitan. He caused to make a mistake. Okay. Now, the word Huma. Okay, so let's look at some grammar here. This, this is a pronoun and hova means he and this is for masculine hea means she okay. and homa means they both they two people Homa means they for two people and homo means they for all and this is masculine and hunna is feminine hunna means they all and feminine Masculine and feminine. So there is any masculine and feminine for Huma? Huma is used for both. Okay. It could be masculine, both, feminine, okay, or one each. Okay. Yeah. Or combination. Yeah. So this is the pronoun grammar of the meal of third person, singular and plural. Okay. So the word in the Quran is Huma, which means they both. And both his means Adam and his wife. So Shaitan caused them to make a mistake to both of them. Means he misled both of them. Okay, the word Shaitan is after that, so you don't have to say he. But Shaitan did that. Okay, so so caused. to make a mistake. A mistake. And Shaitan did that. So when you read these together, then Ashaitanu will be pronounced as Fazalla ko mashaitan. Okay, that's the tajweed. You combine meme with the sheen and you read mashaitan. Separately, it is ashaitan and Fazalla huma. So shaitan caused them to slip. Means he shook his their feet, they slipped, they made a mistake. Okay. Now in this ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not explaining clearly saying what mistake was that. In the other part of the Quran, where the same incident is repeated, there is a more explanation there. Okay, so what was the mistake here? The mistake was that he told them that. The reason, and this is in Surah Al Araf and other places, he said to them that the only reason Allah has forbidden you to eat from the tree is that if you eat from the tree, you will become someone who would live forever. Your life will become the life of forever. Which means this tree is something <coughs> very important that whoever eats from the tree, he becomes an ever-living person, he never dies, or she never dies. So that was the lie that he did to Adam and his wife. And they fell into his lie, into his trick. Okay? So that was the thing that he invited both of them to eat from the tree. And they fell into his trap into his lie and they ate. Okay, so 
that is what the mistake they made. Shaitan caused them to make that mistake. Is it some of the tafsir, uh, what I understand is, when Allah SWT tell them the first time to not eat this tree, so years pass by, so a so long time they forgot about it. Is it? Is it the Quran doesn't say anything about that, that they forgot about that, or how much time passed. Uh, there is no mention of, of that kind. Yeah. So, so this is what this was the mistake. Okay. Now the word after that is anha. Anha is means un means from. Ha means it. Ha means her, but it is also in English. It <coughs> from it. And it here is pointing to the paradise. Okay. And when we see the next word, it will become more clear what happened now. Okay. Is there other meaning also of an? An is used usually against something. Okay. For example, ragaba means to like. Okay. If you put an before that, an ragaba means dislike. Who is the one who can dislike the religion of Islam, uh, Ibrahim? So, this An has a characteristic that it brings the meaning against also. Okay? Yeah, all I remember it was like An means like about, what about? An about means. also, from and about would be the same thing. Yeah. But I'm saying that An has a meaning that if you are fighting someone, you are fighting against him, right? So an will come there. Okay. okay. So anha. Okay. So what is after that? Again, the next word is made of fa. Ahoraja. Huma. Fa ahoraja huma. So the root letters are ha, ra, and jim. This means to get out. Someone just goes out is is haraja. If I so this is babe faala again. In babe af ala, it is going to be akhraja. And this means is to make someone get out. Same, same way as the meaning we saw before, that somebody else is making you do it. You're not doing it, but someone is causing you to do that. So the meaning is to cause, get out. So fa fa akharaja, then he caused Huma, both of them get out of there. He became the reason for them to get out. If it is Yakharaja, then could have been the get out is command? No, 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 no. That is a command. That's akharaj. Akharaj. Yeah. Okay. So this is not the command. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that he made them get out of there. He caused them, he became the reason for them to be out of there. Okay? In other places Allah has said, leave. But actually the, a, a word is here also, which is the command. But it, up to this point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that he became the reason for them to get out of that place. Uh, which place? The paradise. <coughs> okay? So, anha means from it. Ahrajahuma, then he caused them and them both 
both of them to get out. So he became the reason for them to get out of the place. For Huma, they did not get out on their own intention, but he became the reason for them to be out. For Ahraja Huma, 